Morning everybody. I'm in my workshop this morning and uh, I'm just going to do a pressure test on my locomotive boiler which I've made. I did a 12 part series of videos showing showing you making showing me making this. If you want to look back at them you'll see exactly how I made it. Uh, but this, this little video is just about pressure testing it. I've got to take it to, to be passed by inspector uh, for a boiler inspection so I thought I'd just do my own pressure test before I take it. So before I could do that pressure test I've had to make a number of blanking plugs. There's three half inch by 26 teeth per inch. There's two five sixteenths by 32 teeth per inch. There's one 5 16 32 adapter, what fits to the water pump, pressure pump. Four quarter by 40 that fit in the water gauges, where the water gauges will fit. And then I've also had to make this little plate and cut an o-ring groove and put an o-ring in and that'll sit over my regulator pad to block that pipe off. Well that's me that's my plan anyway. So I'm gonna put some thread tape on all the plugs and fit all the plugs and then we'll connect the water pump, fill it up with water and we'll see what happens. I think it's got to be pressure tested to twice its working pressure initially which will be about 160 psi. So I'll go ahead now and uh, fit all the uh, necessary plugs. I've made a start then, I've put a few other plugs in already and I'm putting some thread tape round all plugs just to belt and brace them to make sure that they seal okay. So I've done the clack valve on this side, the check valve. I've put an adapter in this side to take the water pressure fit in. I've blanked the water water gauge holes off in the boiler. There's four of them. I've blanked one of the safety valve holes off and I have to leave them two open. One to fill, the, fill with water and one for the air to escape. So I've just got my regulator pipe to seal off and I just have to seal the top one off there. So I've made this plate and I've cut an o-ring groove in the plate and I've just dropped my screw. I've got it. Usually when you drop some top garage floor it, you never find it again. Anyway I found that. Uh, where was I? Yeah I've put my o-ring in and I'm going to block that. I'm going to block that, uh, that tube off now to seal that. So that o-ring will just go around the circumference of that pipe and, and hopefully block it off. Just trying to put even pressure on all the screws so it, so it seats properly. Right, that's that on. So we can go ahead now and fill it with water and I think it takes approximately six and a half litre uh, of water. Right, so I've just got to tighten the uh, the adapter up that fits to the water pressure gauge onto this out onto this inlet here. And now we can uh, we can fill it up with water. There we go. Right, 
Right, so it just needs blanking plugs putting in now, and I've got fibre washes on these plugs. Right, I might just have to move camera now so you can see the pressure gauge. So I've now got all the blanking plugs fitted. I've got the bottom uh, blow down bush blanked off, the two side check valves, the safety valves and the uh, manifold valve, regulator pads blocked off and all the water gauges. So I'm ready now to pump it up to pressure and I'm just going to pump it up nice and steady. I've got pressure gauge fitted here so I'm just going to pump it up nice and steady now. I've put some uh, kitchen towel under the boiler just so if I, if if anything does happen I can see it straight away. I've got to go up to twice the working pressure and leave it on uh, on full pressure for 15 minutes which will be 80 psi is its working pressure so I've got to pump it up to 160 so I'm just going to take my time and do that till I get up to 160 and then uh, hold it there so we're up to 85 at the moment coming up to 100 Just got to pull that clamp on tote handle down. Right, so it's on uh, one, one fifty, one fifty five, one sixty, between one sixty and one sixty five. So I'm going to leave that there for for fifteen minutes, and uh, have a check round and make sure there's nothing. Nothing happening with boiler. Right, okay, then uh, I've been on test now for 15 minutes. I've had a good look round with, with my lamp at all the joints, uh, front and back, and throat plate and all, all fittings. I can't see anything happening, <clears throat> so uh, I think all all's looking good at the moment. I'll probably uh, what I'll probably do is let the pressure off, and then maybe test it one more time, and maybe just go up to one seventy, and just leave it, and then uh, that'll be it. Then everything will be tested okay. Up and uh, I'll be ready now for my boiler inspection. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting, and I think I said at the beginning of the video, um, I did a 12 part series making this boiler. This little part's just about pressure testing it. So if you want to, if you want to look back, just, just pick up Mr. Factotum, and you'll find uh, a 12 part series on how I made that from scratch. So thanks for watching and if you've not seen my other videos, take a look at them and if not I'll catch you on my next video. Bye for now then.